Welcome everybody. This is our algebra 2 exponential functions lesson number four. Uh, how to find the exponential equation for exponential function. Homework review part one. And so yeah, so here we have um, exponential functions which are very different from our linear functions because what we see here um, our variable is going to be the exponent. And so question number one, for each of the following coordinates pairs, find the equation of the exponential function in the form y equals a times b the x power that passes to the pair. Show the work that you use to arrive at your answer. And so we had two pairs, um, 0, 10 and 3, 80. And the second pair is 0, 180 and 2, 80. Now, let's uh, get a little bit of notes here in this case. To set up our, the first thing we do to solve this, we're going to set up our exponential form, which is y equals a times b to the x power. We're going to write that out. Uh, our second step, of course, is to plug the values of each point into the form to get two equations. Step three, solve the system, system equations. And step four, plug in values for, for a and b into your formula. And so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to, as we normally would, uh, just take our x and y values and try to find uh, an equation in this form y equals a times b the x power. So we begin with the first pair, and our first point is going to be uh, 0, 10. This first point is be this first number x and this the second number is y, and we have y equals a times b the x power. So when we plug in our values, we get 10 is equal to a times b to the 0 power. And so what works out nicely is that, you know, b, which is a number that should not be 0, uh, to the 0 power will equal to 1, giving us 10 is equal to a times 1, or a equals 10, which is super helpful for when we try solving the next equation. So now for our coming up with the next equation here, again, 3 is x and y is 80. We have 80 is equal to, now we know what a is equal to, that's 10. The base we don't know, but we know in this case our exponent will be 3 because that's the value of x. Now to solve for this, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 10. The goal is to get the base by itself. And then, of course, you know, we can solve for b. Once we find b, we can plug a and b back into our formula. And so 80 divided by 10 is going to be 8. The 10s divide out to get 1. And we have b to the third power. And so we can try to find what this number is going to be, b to the third power. What number to the third power is equal to 8, which we can figure out. But a strategy in this case is we're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent. So the reciprocal of 3 over 1 is going to be 1 third. So we're going to raise both sides to the 1 third power. And so we get b to the third raised to the 1 third gives us b to the first power. And a to the one third really is going to be the cube root eight. And in a previous problem, we talked about how the cube root eight was equal to two. And it kind of makes sense that two times two times two is equal to eight. Therefore, our base is equal to two. Well, now that we have our, our a and b value, our function for that pass through these points, the exponential function will be a, y is equal to 10, 10 is a times b, which is 2, raise the x power. And this is our function for part for question number one, part a. We will repeat the same process for part b. Again, we have this is x and this is y. And we plug into our to our form of y equals a times b to the x power. So we have 180 is equal to a times b to the zero power. And it's really nice to be able to have one coordinate that is has x equals zero, right? That, because we see here, this is our, our y-intercept. But also, you know, we find in this case, our a value is 
that ends up becoming that value. Well, most in this case, we call it initial value, though. So one way to look at the A value is, is going to be your y-intercept of your exponential function, or we also talk about this being our initial value for any word problem. So we have 180 is equal to A, because again, B to the 0 power is equal to 1. And so we have our first part of our of our first, I guess, the letter we're trying to fill into our form of y equals a times b to the x power. We're then now going to use x equals 2 and y equals 80 for our second equation. So we have 80 is equal to, now a is 180. Now, you know, how we get that? We got that from here. Again, it's using information we had from before. We don't know what b is equal to. And our x value is 2. And again, to find the base, we're going to divide both sides by 180. The common mistake we lot of students make is that we want to multiply the 180 with the b, but we can't because the order operation tells us that we have to work on exponents before we can multiply. Instead, better to isolate the base, and so we divide 80 by 18, and we're going to get, in this case, the simplified form, 8 over 18 or 4 over 9. is equal to b squared. Just like before, we're going to, to solve for this, we're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent for b. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. This little thing we do here makes things a lot easier because, again, we're using our um, the, the, the uh, power rule in this case, when you raise a power to another power, we keep the base the same, but we multiply exponents. And so here, we're our, we take 2 times 1 half, we get, well, exponent of 1. So b to the first power is equal to, again, we see here, 4 ninths to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of 4 ninths. And now, the square root of 4 ninths, we can figure, it out, figure this out to be, in this case, the square root of 4 over the square root of 9, which is equal to 2 thirds. So our base value is equal to 2 thirds. And notice in this case that because of this, we see uh, that when the base is going to be a number between 0 and 1, we're going to get a situation that um, that is probably have a decreasing, a decreasing uh, graph. So as we increase our x value, the y value will go down in value, will go down as well. So so as so it's a decreasing function. While for a, where our base was greater than 1, as x gets larger, our y value gets larger. So our function here, y is equal to a, which in this case is 180, times b, which we found to be 2 thirds, raised x power is going to be the function we're looking for. Okay? And so, so what we do here for these things, we're just going to um, same as we always, if you're given two, two uh, coordinates and we want to find x to function, we just plug the x and y values into our formula. We will then solve the system of equations. And we're very fortunate in this situation. We were able to get one of the variables, a, right away and we can plug in to find the value of b. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this, is gonna, this has been our part one of our homework review for exponential functions, lesson number four finding the equation of an exponential function. I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, please make sure you give it a like, okay? And uh, subscribe to the channel to know when new videos are added. So uh, yeah, so make sure that we, we had this. No, we're definitely going to work on another pair for our question number two. And we'll see in that video, the questions are slightly different than this one though. In any case, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care and be safe.